everyone. Um, here's part two. Here's an issue. My phone will not record internal audio, so... I have to have the dust on a low volume, but it's still a volume that I have to be able to hear, because it's a big issue. This, this, this video game has a, it requires sound for me to play it properly. So I, I apologize if, um, if it's not really working all that great. If it's, if it's still loud, I'm sorry, this is the, this is the quietest it can be. I apologize in advance. Challenge? There's a challenge mode? I'll work on that later. Oh, no, no, I don't want to do a new game. No, no, no. Ah! No, my emulator. No! No, I don't want to do this. No, no, get me out of here. Get me out. Give, give me out. I'm so sorry, guys. I already played this. Stop. Oh, wait, hold on. I can. I forgot that I can load this. Okay, a farewell. Okay, we find we're finally on track. Hope Hospital Nurses Station. And so, since my husband's been relocated to a different office, I'll be leaving Hope Hospital effective immediately. So I'll never get to see you, Derek. Good riddance. I'm really going to miss this place except for you, Derek. And all of you except you, Derek. But I promise to continue my work as a nurse, wherever life takes me. All Why did I say- all Why did I almost say all life taught me? You all taught me that helping patients is its own reward. Except you, Derek. It was a pleasure to have you on staff, Mary. Good luck with your new job. I can't believe you're leaving! This is all so sudden! Nah! I literally stabbed a man to death. What are you going to do without her, Derek? Actually, Derek's the only reason I'm a little hesitant to leave because, um, he's very incompetent. He's probably going to get a man killed, if not killing a man. I, mm, I'm concerned to say the least. I even spoke with my husband about it because I really just, ooh. I don't think any patients would be safe if, if Derek went on his own with being a doctor. He asked how long I, I'd been working at a pediatrician's. <laughs> Aw, oh, come on, I'm not that bad. Yes, you are. Is Miss... F is... T should I do the... Should I do... The Game Grumps version of this, man? Should I? I wouldn't do the voice that well. Oh, hello, Dr. Hoffman. Please sue Derek Styles for malpractice. I'm not gonna. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? Robert Hoffman, age 62, the director and founder of Hope Hospital. He used to be a renowned surgeon, but works in management now. I wanna... Cut someone open! Give me gameplay! No, of course not. I came to say goodbye since I won't be around anymore. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you for many years of dedicated service. Oh my god. You're a fantastic nurse, probably our best. On behalf of our entire staff, I'd like to say thank you. Oh, sir, the pleasure was mine. Uh, 
This is more visual novel than than, than game, and I uh, I like the surgery parts, but damn, this is boring. I wish there was some way I could. Uh, thank you. Well, you're not going to stop nursing, are you? If you continue to help people, that'll be thanks enough. Of course, sir. Helping people is my life. It's just, I wish I could have stayed with you a little longer. Don't be modest. You already know everything I have to teach. I'm afraid Dr. Casal surpassed me as a surgeon long ago. Dr. Hoffman, good luck with your new job. Don't be a stranger, okay? Well, blah, 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 blah. I have matters to attend to if you'll excuse me. Zoop. I'd hope to see Dr. Hoffman in, more, in action more often, but he stopped operating. Derek, let's discuss the next patient. Yes, sir. This is my last operation here. Don't let me down, you dumb fuck. <laughs> Yesterday's operation went very smoothly. Ah, yes. Smoothly. I want you to handle Mr. Spence's operation today. It's another tumor excision. Just be careful. There's more than one don't, this time. Don't look over any. This will be the last time I'll be assisting you, Dr. Stiles. If you can handle this operation, I'll feel much better about leaving. Da 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 da. Oh, I didn't mean to upset you. But wake up, dumbass! There's only one person you should be thinking about during that operation. And that's the patient. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Let's review the main objection. Uh, ob objection! I'm actually planning to play. I'm actually planning to play, um. Phoenix Wright. Yeah, he's a Phoenix Wright, he's attorney. Excise and remove all tumors from the pancreas. You can do that, right? Now, think back to yesterday's procedure and begin. Here goes! Let's begin the operation! Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Should I commit murder? Nah, not this time. This time I want to actually try to get past this anti-inflammatory. I actually forgot about this. Doctor. All right, tumors, baby pancreas. Combo, baby. I'm pretty good at this. Like, I'm pretty decent. Any others? No, just that one. Shit. Oop! <laughs> Accidentally. Oh, shit! Oh, that's an issue. Ugh. That I did not know was something I could do. Interesting. Alright, I should probably definitely... Because I, I don't want to kill, I don't want to kill this person. I just, I, I was just interested in the fact that I could do that. Alright, one more time. That's that's an, that's a good attention to detail, let's be honest. Doctor. That takes care of the tumors found we found in our test. You're really improving, can't you tell? Ah uh, yes. Improving. I, I just cut someone's pancreas a couple times, but definitely improving. You seem really focused today. I was focused on cutting a man's pancreas numerous times. Thank you for noticing. I guess my work here is done. Are you sure? I, I stabbed I stabbed someone in the pancreas just to give them more sutures. 
Oh, hi, uh, oh, hi, trouble. <laughs> oh, oh no. Should I get her out of the room? Yeah. Come here, girl. She's trying to get my sister's food. Come here, girl. Come here, pretty. From the void. Seems to... Each time I'll do two chapters, hopefully it won't be too long. Oh right, shit, we're still doing this. Operations suck. Shit, I have to turn off my alarm. Hold on. Upcoming alarm. Dismiss it. Cause fuck it. Rookie doctor. You did a great job, Derek. I have nothing to worry about. Totally. Definitely don't have anything to worry about. Despite the fact that you cut, cut, cut someone's pancreas. A few times. <laughs> I can tell you make an excellent surgeon. Then get sued for malpractice. You know, please continue using your abilities to help the people of... I still don't know how to pronounce that. An An Ange Angela's? Angela's? I sound like a dumbass. Angela's Bay. Yes, we're saving the game. Then we're going back. Then we got Angie. Nurse Angie is gonna get funny. And so, we all feel you deserve to have a gift of appreciation. Thank you for 18 years of service, Mrs. Fulton. Thank you so much. I'm a little embarrassed, especially since I'm next to this guy. This clown. Who's probably gonna murder a man. I I'm worried. I'm worried to do it, guys. If it weren't for my husband moving at moving out, what? And I have to go with him. I I'd, I'd stay next next to Derek. Cause he, he he. I don't think he's safe to be around patients. His eyes twitching. He seems violent. I don't know what got into him. It's concerning, especially since he cut someone's pancreas a couple times, and I don't think those were accidents. Mrs. Fulton was more than a great nurse. She looked up after us as well. She will be missed. I'm not dead, I'm just moving. I understand I, that's not the wording you should use. <laughs> Since I'm not... That's, that's not a good wording to use, but okay. Are you sure you're not glad to be free of my nagging? What are you talking about? I'm worried Derek will start coming to, coming to work late again. You're the only one that kept him in line, Mary. Ha, ah, jeez. I'm standing right here, guys. Oh, hey, cool butterfly. <laughs> what? I was voice acting like my man. <laughs> this dude. Is an idiot. <laughs> like I, 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 I still don't trust him as a doctor. You don't need to worry. I'll be fine without Mary's help. Flashbacks to me stabbing a man to death. <laughs> I may be young, but I'm still a doctor. Flashbacks to me to stabbing someone to death and cutting someone's pancreas. That's good to hear. So, no more sobbing phone calls from you, huh? What? I wasn't crying. They were... They were... 
Liquid sadness. Liquid sadness, Mary. They weren't tears. They weren't. I swear they weren't tears, Mary. I'm just teasing, Derek. You've grown so much since you joined us. Flashbacks to killing and cutting someone. And I'm proud of you. Work hard and one day you'll surpass even Dr. Casal one day. Hmm, sure. I believe in you. You really shouldn't. Nurse, she's not here yet. She called about, about an emergency, that's all she said. Is something wrong? They must be talking about my replacement. The bitch blonde. Since I'm leaving, she's going to be your new assistant. The bitch blonde. I was supposed to train her this afternoon, but HR said she was very reliable. I hope everything's okay. Sorry I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> Chunk. This. You're a very short nurse, miss. And you made the room move s slightly to the right. Dang, that's impressive. I'm Angie Thompson, the new nurse. I'll be starting here tomorrow. Angie Thompson, age 21, Hope Hospital's newest employee, a.k.a. the bitch blonde. I know what she does later, and that's something I just can't forgive. I'm not sure if it's this game or another game, but God, I hate what she does. Mm. Mm, I hate you! Fuck you! Angie is part German, born into a very well-educated family. She also has an international nursing license. In which she shouldn't? Is Mary Fulton here? I'm ready to go over protocol now. Ooh, ooh, trash. Ooh, ooh, trash. Ooh, ooh, trash, bitch. Fuck you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you so much. You're worst girl, and you don't even deserve to be called worst girl. You're you're worse than worst girl. It's very nice to meet you. Is this still playing? Wow, she's a nurse. Isn't she a little too? What's that now? What's that now? What's that now, bitch? What's that now? You piece of tree. You piece of shit. You look like a rookie. You look like a little rookie. <laughs> oh uh, no, nothing. Pardon me. <laughs> I was on my way here when a man on the bus suffered a heart attack. I took him to a nearby emergency room and helped with the procedure. So I prefer if you don't if you don't be a dick about my age. Thank you. Of course, the paperwork took forever to fill out. So yeah. <laughs> Sounds like you had a rough morning. Yeah, I did, actually. Well, don't worry about being late. I completely understand. Clerk, excuse me, is Miss Thompson here? There's someone on the line from St. Francis... St. St. Francis? St. Francis Hospital. Thanks, I'll be right there. Please excuse me. She's certainly something. It sounds like she knows her stuff. What do you think, Derek? She scares me. That was the whole episode? That was- it was just a cutscene? But I wanted to cut someone open! Singing the blues. Good morning. Hello, Dr. Styles. You were so- Supposed to be here 15 minutes ago. Your patience shouldn't have to wait just because you're on, you're behind schedule. Uh, I'm sorry. Anyways, I'll call in the first one. And she's strict. 
please have a seat, Mr. Cox. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Doc. During today's surgery, we'll be removing the polyp in your throat. How are you feeling? It's important for us to know any changes to your condition. If anything's wrong, it could cause problems. If you have any problems, press 1 on your phone. <laughs> I, I, I'm i trying to do a bad throat. I really don't know. Huh? I've been doing concerts for seven years while working part-time. So I finally land a contract with a big record producer. And my throat screwed up. What if something does go wrong? I lose my dream forever. All this because of this polyp thing? Well, we're going- Well, we're going to try our best. Just relax, okay? We're going to try? I- I always tried my best. I practiced late, stayed in shape, but if that's all I needed, I would have had that contract years ago. It takes a lot more than trying to hit, to write a hit single. C come on, just be positive. I'm, sh I'm sure you'll be all right, really. Dex, Nate, Tisha you fronted the money for this operation and I let you down. It doesn't look like I'll be able to pay you back, guys. I need to take your blood pressure, Mr. Cox. Mr. Cox, this way, please. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. I'm trash at voice acting. Why didn't you just tell him everything would be fine? Wait. What? Didn't you read your own notes? He's completely nervous! Our job is about more than treating illnesses, you, you twit! Proper bedside manner is essential to a patient's recovery! You say directly affect those people's attitudes! You dumbass! Don't you get it? Yeah, yeah. I do. I hope you're a little more serious during surgery this afternoon. <laughs> Did I scare you? Yeah. <laughs> we should start the briefing. Let's review today's patient, Mr. Cox. I should stop getting amused by that name. My humor is on par with the middle schoolers. He started feeling pain in his throat about a month ago. He's been coughing up blood since then and now has trouble breathing. Since, mis since Mr. Cox is a rock singer, it's likely that a polyp has formed because of strained bron bronchial tubes. Obviously, it is now hemorrhaging. We've tried a nebulizer treatment, but his condition is getting worse. It's nothing life-threatening, but considering the patient's career, it's serious enough to warrant surgical intervention. It's still possible for him to recover completely. What's your opinion, Dr. Casal? That sounds like a good plan. Are you ready, Dr. Stiles? This operation has three objecti- objection uh, objections Object- uh, Objectives. Drain the overflowing blood. Locate the problem area. Use the laser to remove it. This is a delicate operation, so we'll need the magnif- mag Magnification tool. Remember to treat the patient very carefully. Nice work, Angie. Derek, good luck. Please don't slit the patient's throat. Oh!
I have an idea! I'm gonna slip, I'm gonna slip this man's throat. Gentle, gentle. How did I get it wrong? It said missed and said okay. Alright. Ah, oh, fuck you. Did I break the game? Dr. Styles? Finally, jeez. All right, first I gotta fix this man's health, dang. Okay, things are fine now. Uh, da da da. Why don't I use the laser? L the laser. Dr. Styles? Up oh, shit. Pops have been removed. Dr. Styles? Yeah, I get it. Another part of the hemorrhage. Jesus. Shit. Oh shit, my boy's dying of blood loss. Shit. Alright, this time I'm actually being serious. I do not want to lose you, dude. Especially not over something so tiny and molecule as fuck you. You know what? I'm not allowed to do that. Jeez, this... Shit. Oh, fuck! They just keep appearing! Leave the be all of them. Let's close the patient up. Dr. Styles? Fuck you. I wanted to have some fun. Meanie. So I've really been assigned to this inexperienced guy. Yes, you have. Or that is, good job, Dr. Styles. Ha 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 ha. You're lucky I wasn't able to murder the man.
Well, Mr. Cox, your operation was a complete success. Uh. Don't try to speak yet. Your throat needs a little rest. Don't worry, though. In a few days, your voice will be good as new. Maybe you could hook me up with tickets to your concert? Hehe. <laughs> This is dumb. Or wait, I should do it in co in voice. This dumb bitch. This clown. Why am I this man's assistant? I could be an assistant with an actually professional doctor, but I'm stuck with this guy. I'm stuck with this guy. Really? Damn. Sucks. And this will be the end of the second episode because I know I'm running out of time. Haha. <laughs> um. See you in the next one, guys. Ba boo. <laughs>